Ahoy, Bobby! Do you trust her? With my life, Captain. <gasps> ah, hello. Name's Amanda. You must be the captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself. Randolph has turned sail. Do we chase him? We cannot leave this merchant vessel to the mercy of the English. I'd say it's high time we find some cover from this storm, Captain. I agree, Mr. Faulkner. We make for the vineyard. I have never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? The rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Biddle aims to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful. And so am I. Glad you're back. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We could be building on Bunker Hill. Breed is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! Our orders came from men so divorced from the situation, we are compelled by reason to employ our own faculties to make a proper determination. Further than I can understand even half that nonsense you just uttered. What's not to understand? I'm trying to ensure our victory! What would you know about victory? I killed a sea wolf in her den armed with only a knife. I escaped the Kanawaga Indians who sought to burn me alive! And I was the sole survivor of a shipwreck during the Battle of Havana. So you will excuse me if I choose not to follow you. General Putnam. What? I'm looking for John Putnam. 
I was told you'd be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside their city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Well, then might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I have to fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. should you for what they have in material they lack in conviction and care but not us we have discipline we have order and most importantly we have passion we believe so maintain vigilance serve your ammo ensure a proper line of sight and above all else men do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Love be damned. You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what a pit con. He's left Boston. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Molten Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom blowing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit. Or wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have to chance a direct approach. That's twice today you've proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return.
Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now because of that. Sa ha ju janere ne o tena am da setta kwe. Tini o ne ya ho tena tam da setta kwe. How dare you sneak up on me like that? Why don't you just go out there and just help this cap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. But it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with them. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. 
I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. Our charge, Captain. The Belladonna, under Rodrigue Hotalis and Company. She appears Spanish for all intents and purposes, but rest assured she's a French vessel. French are bringing in a boatload of powder and guns for old Georgie and his patriots. Some colonial boats were supposed to escort her up the coast, but they left her behind. She'd been waiting ever since. We will make sure Washington gets what he is expecting. Where is Le Capitaine? I am the captain. You are late! We came as quickly as the wind allowed. Too slow! What happened to your escort? Le Randolph started with us, then departed without warning! Typique! This is why the lieutenant insisted I come aboard! Grab the swivels! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the aft line! Tie off the bow! How does the British command know about the Belladonna? British command knows nothing of this. Then how are you here? We were led here by a patriot, Nicholas Biddle. Who does Biddle work for? Oh, I think you know. Assassin. What did the captain tell you? Nicholas Biddle led them here. He said... The Randolph. The Randolph? Beat to quarters! Belay that order! He is putting us to his rudder. We cannot leave the Belladonna undefended. But, sir! She is incapacitated and vulnerable. Let him go. We will see each other again soon. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God! Oh, 
this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! Still, you will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! <laughs> what for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth for I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. It smells even worse than it looks. Going. 
Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. This key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the Warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die.
fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pits to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization. Thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know, beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you, and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> All those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers. Sisters, fellow patriots, several days ago we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what Darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! Damn it. I thought I'd at least live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. 
they can make their plans and spring their traps, don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop! He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise, he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. 